Greetings and welcome to another video. It's Sunday 21st of July 2019 and as you can see we are outside Dorley Town Hall which was erected, built in 1873. Uh, this building plays host, to, plays host to various local events and uh, things of interest. For example, I first came to this building uh, a few years ago when they were doing hosting a local event for the Shropshire Wrestling Association or Alliance, whatever it was, and saw some uh, live wrestling. It was a uh, Really entertaining uh, evening that was, really fun, so yes. And here, on the front wall of the Town Hall, we have this plaque which says, Dorley Town Hall, built as a temperance hall in 1873, known by many for hosting dances, dances and concerts, throughout the years so yeah very important part of Dorley right so we're now gonna just gonna continue up that way for today's video All right, we're now standing outside the new Jewel Indian Restaurant and Takeaway. And as I understand it, this building used to be a pub. But it's now the Jewel. And if we just look here, you know, some local history again. The Lord Hill, commemorated in the name of one of Shropshire's most famous soldiers and commanders, the Duke of, in the Duke of Wellington's army, Lord Roland Hill, recorded as an alehouse in 1818. So, uh, this building has got a very long and rich history already going on. So, yes. I remember when I first came to Dorley a few years ago, this building was basically a vacant building, not being used. So uh, a lot of people were quite happy that the Jewel restaurant took it over. Well, because, because uh, not only is the Jewel a really good restaurant to visit with some good food anyway, but it made a lot of people happy that this building was given a new lease of life and found something to do instead of being left derelict. So it's always good when buildings are brought back to life with a new purpose and everything. So yes. One thing I always like about Dorley High Street is this piece of artwork on the wall here. It's absolutely beautiful. I do love it. I always, in, I always enjoy seeing this thing whenever I walk past. So yes, if you're ever in Dorley and coming by this way, then by all means, take the time to see this and just, I hope you enjoy it. So we're now going to go this way, past the uh, Baldwin's Accountant's Shop, store, office. And as you can see right there, we've got the... Uh, Monument for Captain Webb, which I've made a video about previously. Captain Webb, of course, being famous for being the first man to ever swim the uh, English Channel. So, yes. But we're going to proceed onwards down Dorley High Street. First place we are, Sweet Cheeks Beauty Boutique. Never actually been in here, but I uh, keep meaning to do so. So, maybe another day. Could 
Crystal's cupcakes. So we've got the original Julie McFound Asian cuisine restaurant right here. Uh, I think we still operate from this building in the same as from the new building. I'm not sure to be honest, but it's good to see it's still here anyway. Star Thai Massage, Moe's Barber, Barbers, and above Moe's Barbers you've got a tattoo, sh tattoo shop as well. So that's going to be interesting. And you got New Lotus Takeaway, Heavenly Quest Community Interest Company. I'll be honest, I don't know what kind of uh, activities the uh, Community Interest Company get up to in Dorley. I'll have to look into that another time. Um, might be worth finding out. But if anyone else knows or has had any interactions with Heavenly Quest, by all means, share your experiences in the comment section below. It'd be good to know. A Polly's Diner. I actually had once, I've actually visited here for once and had a meal in there. Uh, breakfast it was. Uh, yeah, it was really good, really enjoyed it. Uh, nice little place, like a friendly atmosphere. Um, enjoyed the food I had, so yeah. Probably should make me happy to visit here sometime again, but when I've got the money for it, so yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Let's move along. Just here you've got the Crown Pub, which I've made a couple of videos about in the past. It's a really nice little pub that is, uh, I do like coming here. So yeah, I uh, might come here again like later this evening, don't know yet, but we'll see how it pans out. A card shop, the makeover lounge, Tiffin's. I, admit, I really like some of these uh, designs and artwork on the shutters. It makes uh, Doily look a bit more welcoming and friendly in a nicer place, so yeah, do you like the shutters? Bit more local history going on. William Ball, the Shropshire Giant, 1795 to 1852. Huddler and Shingler, Horse Works. Now, the Springwell Pit Disaster, Dorley Parish, December, December 6th, 1872. I'll be honest, I don't know anything about the uh, spring well pit disaster, but uh, I should look into that. It'd be uh, worthwhile knowing what happened. And over here, Captain Webb, Captain Webb, I meant to say, sorry, 1848 to 1883, first person to swim English Channel. Roundhouse Kiln and Cinder Hill. I'll have to look into it, see if that place still exists in some way, shape or form. Be nice to find where that is located and make a video about that. So it looks really interesting. Another bit of local history to explore. Big on the wall, 1875. I really don't know what that's all about, uh, what's 
Yeah, so, if anyone has any idea what that's meant to be all about and what it's for, then please let me know. Leave a comment in the comments box below. So yeah. Methodist Church, Dorley Christian Centre. And if we just take a closer look at that. Christian Centre, built in 1978, and octagonal Wesleyan Chapel, built in 1819, was also located on this site. Uh, I don't know anything about the Wesleyan Chapel, uh, but if anyone's got any answers and tell me, is any yeah, sorry, if anyone is able to tell me more about it or where I can go to find information, that would be a uh, interesting to know because I'd like to learn more about the history of Dorley because there's a lot of interesting things and locations in Dorley so it'd be worth knowing more about it. At the Talbot, one of three pubs in Dorley High Street. Uh, I'll be honest, I've been here a couple of times, but not that often. Um, just another pub at the end of the day, so. Tug Spikes, no local dog sal salon, so yeah, they're pretty good places. Telford College in Dorley, Matthew Webb House. Uh, I've never been in there, uh, so I don't know what kind of courses or classes they do in there, so might be worth checking out at some point. You just carry on this way. Another tattoo and barbershop. And right next door is the local laundrette. with uh, some books open inside for you to read if you're doing your laundry in here. I'll be honest, ever since I moved to Dorley a couple of months ago now, I've really enjoyed being here. Being in Dorley has uh, so far been a really positive experience. I'm glad to move here. Now the Flying Fish Fish and Chip Shop. That's a fantastic little place. If you want, if you're in Dorley and want some decent fish and chips, definitely recommend you come here. Worth the effort. So. A few times I've had fish and chips from here, even a kebab, and uh, really good food I thought, so yeah. I think uh, the Hillbury Charity Shop is probably my favourite charity shop in all of Dorley. It's, yeah, the best one as well, so yeah, if you like your charity shops, Always worth visiting and definitely worth coming here once or twice at least, so yeah. The Elephant and Castle pub, which I made a couple of videos about before. As I said at the time, and I say it again, it's a really good pub in there. Uh, opens 5pm in the afternoon, so uh, if you're anyway in Dorley after 5pm, definitely come by and visit here for a drink. Really nice drinks in there, so yeah. <laughs> I 
Bengal spice. I've uh, had takeaway from here a few years ago, um, and it was fantastic. It was some of the best tandoori and belty cuisine I've had in a long time. So I was delicious. I uh, should probably look into eating, for, getting some takeaway here again at some point. Yeah, I look forward to getting a takeaway from here again at some point. It's going to be like really nice stuff. And then just over here, we have the main building. Dorley House, home to Great Dorley Town Council. And we've also got the Dorley and Mallinsley Community Library here. I like it here. Really, really nice. Uh, local information board as well, so that's going to be uh, worthwhile keeping track of. And here we have Top Shop at the top of uh, Dorley High Street. See so, yeah, another convenience shop. That's a pretty nice place to visit for any uh, last-minute essentials and all that. And there we are, Dorley High Street. As I said, uh, it's a really good town. I've really enjoyed being here and living here in Dorley. It's a good experience so far. So yeah, definitely worth visiting if you've never done so already. On that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Take care and goodbye.